While the Afghan ambassador and senior Afghani diplomats have left India for Europe and United States for seeking asylum, the foreign minister of Taliban met with Chinese foreign minister yesterday, as Afghanistan is looking at Chinese investment in the power sector health care and infrastructure. Indian firm of Antil has received a 10.39 crore rupees order from the Indian Navy, for the supply of SATCOM equipment within the next 12 months for seamless and secure communication across vast maritime domains. The Indian and U.S. Army's snipers carried out joint training in Alaska, before closing the Indo-U.S. joint exercise 2023 yesterday. India and United Arab Emirates have joined forces to collaborate in sharing and development of advanced technologies in sectors of strategic interest. The Indian High Commissioner to the Republic of Maldives met with the newly elected Maldivian President, conveying Prime Minister Modi's congratulatory message to the newly elected leader. The Super Shukhoi upgrade program will start with 86 Su-30 aircraft and will eventually include 164 remaining aircraft, and while it will not see any engine change, but it will include an improved engine. Bharat Electronics Limited Hindustan Aeronautics and Medani Group are actively engaged in certifying the AL-31F engine with new locally developed components, that will extend its operational lifespan, enhance the engine's durability and overall performance, and the improved engine has already undergone rigorous trials on a test bed. The DRDO has conducted a successful test of the long-range anti-ship missile from its launchpad No. 4 in Odessa, during which the missile has achieved a range of 1,700 km. The long-range anti-ship missile will have a strike range of 2,500 km, that will have coastal variant to protect India's coastal boundaries against naval incursions, and it will also be equipped on frontline Indian Navy warships. India has started development of state-of-the-art air-launched anti-radiation combat swarm drones, that will be used for suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses. These swarm drones will be launched from fighter jets, that will detect and launch a coordinated attack to destroy enemy radar systems communication hubs and other vital components of air defense networks. The head of Adani Group's Defense and Aerospace Division has said, that the company achieved a significant milestone by securing orders for the Drishti 10 medium altitude long-range UAV from the Indian Navy, which is a localized variant of the Hermes 900 Starliner of Israeli firm Elbit Systems. It has multiple hard points for flexible payload configurations, a maximum payload of 450 kg, an endurance of 36 hours and service ceiling of 30,000 feet. New Space Research and Technologies has initiated discussions with Indian Ministry of Defense, to develop the Abhi Manu Collaborative Combat Unmanned Aircraft System, that can be integrated into a manned-unmanned teaming framework and will be used as a cost-effective but intelligent platform for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, kinetic attack, decoy and electronic warfare in contested airspace. The Indian Air Force intends to replace its Russian IL-76 with the aircraft that will be selected in the 80 medium transport aircraft competition, in which the Airbus A400M and Embraer C390 are seen as the front-runner. Airbus will collaborate with Tata Group, while Embraer has already held discussions with Hindustan Aeronautics and Mohindra Group, and the selected C-390 local production partner will be announced by end of the year. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>